Hi guys, today in the workshop we have this 2016 Fiat 500X with an issue with its wing mirror. As you can see, this wing mirror has been in an accident and it's been put back together, just held in place with duct tape. So we're gonna have to take this off and replace it with a new one. Now what's annoying about this is that the bolts that actually hold the wing mirror in place are nice and easy to get to. You can get them from the exterior of the car. There's a little plastic cover that comes off of the base. But on this particular car, there is a wiring loom that goes through the actual door and it connects inside behind the door card. So we have to take off the door card in order to replace the mirror. So with the door open, first thing that we're gonna to wanna to do is take off this plastic trim. So using a trim tool, you can just prise it gently out from where it sits. That comes right out. So once this cover is off, you can see a five Allen key in there. So just using that. And loosen this one off. Next, we want to get this rubber little panel off of the bottom of this little cubby hole because there's another Allen key underneath there. So using a little pick, you can lift that up. And there's your other 5mm Allen key. Just loosen this off. So once you have both Allen keys out, further down, just underneath here, next to the light, is a little Phillips head screw. So once that Phillips is out from underneath, follow that up, and you can see these two little pieces of trim that using a flat edge should be able to prise out. So manage that one with a pick. Again, you've got to be really careful that you don't damage these. You've got that's the second one. So once these little covers are off, you'll be able to see another Phillips head screw in each of them. So just there and just in there. So once you've got all of them off, we can try and pull this panel away from the door. There's clips in certain areas around the outer rim of the door, some in the middle as well, where they will have to be released and this can be quite tight. As long as you can release a little bit of the pressure from the side, you might be able to get a trim tool in there to help lever it away. We'll be able to start to pull the rest of them. Once the door is fairly insecure, the top is on like a little hook, so... Ow. So you want to lift it up slightly to bring it out. So when you're lifting up the door, you want to pull it up and over. You don't want to stretch it too far because you've got the pieces of the wiring loom that are holding on to some of the switches down there. And you have the cables going to the door handle. But just here, this yellow tab, this is the wiring that is for the wing mirror. So we're going to have to undo this and then we can unbolt that from the other side. So these wires, you just pinch that clip there just to free them up a little bit. Might be easier if you use the pick just to release the tab. So there's one. And there's the other one. So now this little bang and separate that. You may as well tuck that inside so it doesn't catch when you try and pull the mirror out. So let's take off this duct tip. looking at it from the side, we've got one there and one there. Okay, so we're free. There we go. So with the replacement mirror, what we need to do is feed the wiring loom 
through these holes, the different parts of the panel inside the door. So it goes through that gap the other side. So taking the new mirror, carefully don't catch the plugs on any part of the metal. There are, and just place that through. There's little cutouts here where these little tabs will line up with to make sure that you're in the correct place. Ah, that's nice and secure. Now there's a little plastic cover that wasn't on the old one, but it is inside the car, and we just need to pop back into place here. So this plastic piece, you'll see has got little teeth on it where it needs to sit and grab into there, and these clips then will just pop on. So seat them first, so it's from bottom to top, and then just push it till it goes all the way in, and it'll click into place. Same goes for the plastic backing. You can see the clips there fit towards the mirror. So it goes from the outside in. So you want to be very gentle with the clips. You want to make sure that all of the clips are in line because sometimes you'll get the top to click in and the bottom won't be in line. There you go. Take off the sticker. So now it's just the inside again. You can see here the wiring that's been pushed through from when we fitted the mirror on the other side. We pull on this tab just to make sure that the bung seats correctly and then we can reconnect our connectors. So it's just white to white and black to black. And there's only one way these will go in. You want to fit the door card from top to bottom. So you want to hook it over that top first. Once that top piece is hooked in, you want to make sure that these clips line up with the holes on the actual door so then you can press them into place. If you try to tap these back into place without them being in the correct position, the plastic clips are just going to break and they're going to fall inside, they'll rattle inside the door and also you'll have a part of the door card that's just going to be insecure. You can just tap them in. You should be able to feel them click into place. Once you're happy that all of the clips are in as they should be, we can start to refit the Allen keys. As long as all of the clips are in the correct position, all of these holes should line up exactly right. Then the three Phillips screws. And then you can refit these plastic tabs. And just snap back into place. Don't forget this little rubber cover that sits on top of that Allen key. And this to go around the door handle. Then it goes without saying guys that you need to give it a test, make sure that the indicator lamp works and that you can change the direction of the mirrors just to make sure you don't have any issues with the electrical connectors or that there's going to be an issue with the wing mirror itself. But I hope this has helped guys, if it has please give us a like, share, subscribe, if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Remember guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please hit that button because it does go a long way to help the channel and it means that I can spend more time here making these videos for you guys. And that's it for this video, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.